Hey everyone, welcome back to my scary story called They Look Like Me. This time for part three. This is what the cover looks like. It's a funny fight. There's me on the left, kickboxer Terry. Right there. <laughs> and I'm going up against Creepy. The computer hacker, also known as Scary Boy, the stealer, right here. He's going to be, I decided to pick the famous pro wrestler Damien Priest. I thought that'd be cool. Because I want this guy, I had Damien Priest in mind. Yep. When I was making up this character that God helped me to put together. Anyway, it goes like this. Let me read it to you. New scary story. Funny fights. Creepy the computer hacker, aka also known as Damien Priest. The famous wrestler who's playing the role of Scary Boy Distiller. I couldn't think of anyone else, you know, popular and famous. But this guy, I seen him on television, Monday Night Raw, WWE, Friday Night Smackdown, etc. It's a tough, tall guy. Perfect. They look like me, part three, inside the house after the bad guy tries to hit Terry with a laptop. Ugh. <laughs> Kickboxer Terry moves out the way like a U-Haul truck. Ooh. <laughs> Kickboxer Terry jumps off the stairs. And does a front kick. Yeah. <laughs> so hard that it knocks the wood mask off of the creepy computer hacker. And just flies off. Comes off. Now... Just makes the tall guy mad. Ah. Because his true identity is revealed. He makes ugly faces. <laughs> Similar to the famous pro wrestler Damon Priest, which I already mentioned. Creepy picks up Kickboxer Terry with one hand Ugh. and gives him a sit out choke slam. Bam! So he picks me up in the air and sits down with me and then falls down as he sits down. Boom! Slamming me through a table and a shallows and peacock feathers from a vase is broken. So peacock feathers fall out. That's on this table and my dad's and my father's standing room. I can picture in my mind. Uh oh. Terry is more nervous what his dad is going to think when he gets home and finds the dining room a mess. Even though I'm hurt, I care more about what this house is gonna look like. Oh no, I don't want my dad to see this place. It's ruined. I better fix it. But first I gotta fight this bad guy. That's what I'm thinking. Terry stands up and punches Scary Boy Distiller as hard as he can. I'm hitting him. And uppercuts him. But the guy is like, he takes all my shots. Creepy is dizzy. Keep up to Terry does a flying knee. <laughs> that takes the big man off his feet. <laughs> Mina Lee, who is my fictional wife, and she's Asian, she cheers in her Korean language. You know, pretend she's saying something. <laughs> she cheers for her black husband. 
Terry smiles at her. But Creepy is back like the Terminator. Uh oh, he recovers fast. He gives Terry a, a few strong strikes. <laughs> and a big boot to the face as kickboxer Terry puts the hole into a wall. So he gives me a big boot to the face, right to my nose, and I hit the wall and accidentally put a hole in the wall. Oh man. Creepy lifts him up, so he lifts me up now with a crucifix power bomb. It's a wrestling move. So he's got me up like this, and I'm on his back. He got me up like this with both of his arms, and I'm like this with my face turned. And he's up, and then he drops me. Ugh. He throws me on the piano. Boom! On top of the piano. Oh man. Back spasm. The keys make a musical sound as Terry's body lands on them. So I fall on the piano and my back touches the keys. I'm like, ugh. Terry is hurt. Yep, I'm hurt. Creepy looks at Mina Lee. Yeah. She's like, ooh. So my Korean wife, of course I'm single in real life, but in this story. She run, She tries to get away from him. She's willing to fight him if she has to, but she tries to get away. He goes after her. <laughs> and she's like, <gasps> But Terry won't quit. He tells the criminal to leave the woman alone. Leave my wife alone. You idiot. <gasps> I'm mad at him. And finish the fight. Let's finish this fight. You and me. Once and for all, Creepy goes for a roundhouse kick. He jumps in the air. <laughs> Pretend I jumped in the air. Playing the role as this bad guy. But kickboxer Terry ducks. I duck as he jump kicks me. And then I leap in the air. Catch him by the neck. And fall back with a DDT. A powerful DDT. Drops him on the floor. Terry goes crazy, and while he was on the floor, I beat up the dude. <laughs> like an MA fighter. <laughs> He's like, uh, uh. I'm like John Moxley, you know, the famous wrestler Dean Ibrose from AEW Wrestling. I'm like going crazy on Because he's trying to mess with me and my lady. You don't do that. Uh uh. I sock him like a little kid hitting the sock. He's like, oh, oh. But he still won't give up. He never surrenders. God, the Lord, touches my heart, kickboxer Terry, to show mercy. So I calm down. I get off him while I'm punching him on the floor. The cops arrive and try to arrest Creepy, but he knocks out the officer. Oof. Oof. The cop is like, oh. They can't put handcuffs on him or nothing. And even if they try to point their gun at him, he's able to disarm one of them and tosses another on the patrol car. <laughs> he's a tough guy. Creepy wants to end the battle with Terry, with Kickboxer Terry. Kickboxer Terry and Creepy, the computer hacker, run towards each other. So we're running against each other like this. I jump in the air with a spinning elbow. <laughs> he's like, ooh. He lost. Thank God I won, barely, to be continued. Stay tuned for part four, y'all, and have a good night. Hope you like the story so far. Glory to God. Two thumbs up.